Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. Recently I recorded an electrical class uh, for online use and what you're about to see is just a quick excerpt from one of the items we talked about in that class. Stick around, we'll be right back. Now we're gonna get a little crazy. So I'm, uh, yeah, you're looking at the screen going, what? 220 volt, forever and ever, the code has said, 110 outlets shall be protected in these areas. This is the first code cycle, the 2020, starting in 2020, um, that they're saying 220 outlets shall be protected. And we're gonna go over a number of these. It doesn't say within so far from a sink or anything like that, it just says, Anything up to this much, including these 220s, will be protected by a GFCI. Is there an outlet with a button? No, it's going to be on a breaker. So the electrician will have to get there. But the first one we're going to see is an electric dryer. So if you have an electric dryer plug, that thing is going to be GFCI protected. Remember, the rest of the utility room, the 110 outlets, are already GFCI protected. That's the last one. That big 220 is going to be GFCI protected. So... Since we're uh, messing with that, that's the dryer. Let's talk about this one. What about the range of the oven? If you have an electric range or an electric oven, yes, you've got a big 220 outlet sitting somewhere in, you know, behind the cabinets, behind that range, uh, behind the oven, where that's going to plug in. Or if it's the oven and it's directly tied in, that circuit is still going to be GFCI protected. So these circuits for dryers, ranges and ovens are going to be GFCI protected. And again, normally they're going to be out on the panel. So look for that. Again, starting in the 2020, we'll see that. So, and then another one. These things are just coming, coming, coming. So talk to your electrician about these changes because here comes another one. This one has never been done before, but now it says that GFCI protection is required for this big baby outside next to your house. So We've already got an outlet next to the AC out there for service. The code talks about that. Exterior outlets are already GFCI protected, so that's covered. That's a 110 outlet. But now this 220 circuit going to the heat pump or the traditional air conditioner, the condensing unit, are out here. They have to be on a GFCI. So I don't make the rules. I just tell you about them, but that's what's in the 2020 electric code. I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Uh, be sure to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and uh, perhaps subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you back as we post new videos. But uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right.